Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 2 Root.com for this week's AT&T T-Mobile or GTN 75, 7105 uh, ROM of the week. Check out Jedi X-ROM. Uh, this is build 16, version 16, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got the Galaxy S4 theme here, which looks nice, and there's a bunch of themes. Uh, the themes remain same, but I'll go over uh, some of all the themes again for those of you new to this. Of course, you get Jedi ROM tricks. Uh, the biggest change with the latest version uh, is more stable than ever. It's got uh, the latest uh, Saber kernel, which is based on uh, Linux 3.0.87, um, which should give you more stability and uh, better battery life. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the settings you can do, of course. Um, you will get Jedi ROM tricks, of course. Uh, 23 toggles. Uh, you can customize your toggles here. Add more toggles. Um, that's nothing new, but I'm going to show uh, just in case you're new to this. And also, you got custom ink color. You can change your ink effect color to whatever you want. Um, that's for your lock screen if you're not using a uh, uh, if you're not using a screen lock. And also, keyboard switcher, uh, pie launcher, LMT pie launcher control. I mean, you can get full pylons or controls. I'll have a link to full tutorial on that. And also icon changer. Um, custom framework installer. Make sure you hit install update once. And this will allow you to get all of the modules. And then go to modules. Um, make sure I enable expose app settings. And this is kind of new. This is a enjoy custom background for notification panel. Make sure you reboot once, and then you'll be able to run your favorite apps and tablet, custom DPI mode, uh, run your Gmail, Netflix, you know, make it bigger, make it smaller, anything you want. I have also have a full tutorial guide on that, so I won't go through that. Just watch that video tutorial. Um, you are supposed to be able to change notification background image. Um, for some reason, it, it keeps foreclosing on me. Not sure on that, uh, but not a huge deal. And also fast dormancy. All that stuff uh, from previous version is there, but the main main uh, change is that the uh, the kernel has been updated, and also now it only uses one file instead of a bunch of different files uh, for AT and T, T Mobile, um, you know, for Bell, Mobilicity, Mo Mobilicity, uh, Rogers, Saskatel, um, you know, all the Canadian variants also. And of course, you've got uh, multi-window enable for all apps, for those of you who never tried this ROM. Uh, but certainly one of the best ROMs, and uh, if you're running this right now, definitely upgrade to the latest version. As Also, you do get two cameras. This is Android 4.2 Photosphere camera, working fine. You can also upgrade to Android 4.3 uh, camera. Go grab it at highonandroid.com if you want it. Uh, and also, of course, you got awesome beats. Um, and Voodoo Sound, which is, you know, great. Uh, make sure you uh, check that on for listening to music with your speakers on the phone. Uh, that'll make the sound better. And uh, Walkman app for listening to music. Everything else is pretty much the same. So definitely check it out for this week's From the Week and also Pop-Up Browser. Um, you get a bunch of themes. And I will show you uh, the Aroma Installer here now. And uh, you do also have the option for App2SD, uh, swap your internal and external if you want in Aroma Installer. Um, installation is very easy, just download the zip file, move it to your internal or SD card, and go ahead and install it. Go find a file and just uh, Jedi X16, install it. Same file for GTN715, uh, AT&T, and T-Mobile. There is also no modems in the latest version, so you will be safe uh, to install this on any of the GSM versions of Note 2 with LTE. Do not install on GTN 7100, though. You'll break your phone. Um, all right. There you go. And you can also change the theme if you install without wipe. You can always rerun it. And here's where you can uh, change the carriers. Now, if you're using like a GTN 7105, um, you can probably just choose AT&T. Uh, that should work since it doesn't install modem. Uh, for TouchWiz, you get 5x6, 5x5, or stock. Um, I prefer the 5x6. That's the one I showed you. Make it bigger. You can put more apps. Also, uh, AccuWeather widget from S4 if you want it. 
A memory swap, this is where it's going to swap your internal and external. And this is where it gets fun. You can get um, you know, stock Jedi theme, Jedi black and white, Jedi blue, Jedi orange, Jedi, Jedi purple, Jedi red, Jedi S4 style, a Deviant Jedi Hydro Green. Um, so definitely check out all the different themes you can do. And you can get the Android 4.2 uh, Photosphere camera. You can install that and then install the 4.3 later. Um, you know, voice recorder, Polaris Office, all these apps you can choose. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, do check it out for this week's ROM of the week. As always, Jedi X is one of the most stable ROMs, I think. And, uh, you know, if you want to install one ROM and go for months, definitely this is the ROM to go with. And do let me know what you think. And the Verizon version has been updated since version 14, uh, but I'll have an update if it does get updated to uh, version 16 soon. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. As always, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, any of the Galaxy Note 2s, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2root.com. We update you once a week with Round the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.